Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we'll do a detailed review of the Realme 3 Pro. So Realme 3 Pro was announced a couple of weeks back and this is the successor of the hugely popular Realme 2 Pro announced last year. So the Realme 3 Pro comes with a top of the line hardware for the price segment it is being offered. It comes with a, a, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 octa-core processor. It has 4GB RAM and even 6GB RAM is being offered. And it also has a, a Android 9.0 on top of the new ColorOS 6.0 and everything uh, starts at a price of 13 9 So that's something really great from Realme in terms of pricing and hardware. So let's find out how the device performs for the price segment. So let's get started. First step, let's have a look at the design and build quality. Now looking at the front panel design, you can see that Realme has done a really good job here with the water drop or dew drop notch. The bezels have been kept to minimal and you can see the bottom bezels are also uh, lesser. You can see the, uh, the side bezels also looks great. Uh, overall, the front panel design looks uh, really nice and it is definitely one of the good looking smartphones out there. Now looking at the back panel, this is where uh, Realme has done again a good job uh, with uh, the dual camera setup. We have the fingerprint scanner. Uh, it is made of a polycarbonate material but the material quality looks pretty good. You also have the Realme branding on the side and there is also a pattern on the back panel and this is a gradient color finishing on the uh, Realme 3 Pro. We have the Nitro blue, blue variant of the device and it looks really nice. Now talking about the overall uh, experience using the device, it feels really nice in hands, it's colorful, device uh, gives it an overall great feel altogether. Now the only thing uh, which we have to test on a long term basis is whether this uh, back panel holds up for scratches because polycarbonate material often uh, gets uh, scratched up uh, often too fast. But then we have to wait and see how good the experience is. We have been had a good experience with the Realme 2 Pro. Uh, the back panel was pretty good. Now we have to wait and see how good the Realme 3 Pro is. But overall the design and build quality is really good on the Realme 3 Pro. Now talking about the display. The device comes with a 6.3 inches full HD plus resolution display. It's an IPS LCD panel with Gorilla Glass 5 protection. Now the display quality is definitely one of the best we have seen in this price segment. It has a really great viewing angles, a great color reproduction and uh, another important aspect about the device is outdoor visibility. The brightness levels uh, in bright sunlight looks really great and uh, it's extremely bright display and you won't have an issue using the device in bright sunlight. So that's the device. There is also added protection in the form of Gorilla Glass Fry and uh, you also get uh, a good touch response from the display. Now next let's move on to the software. So this device runs on Android 9.0 on top of ColorOS. So ColorOS is the, uh, the new version of ColorOS is version 6 and Android version is 9.0. So the ColorOS 9 uh, 6.0 looks really nice. It is uh, more refined uh, UI and it comes with uh, additional options uh, including uh, gestures, smart driving, uh, smart assistant is also included. You get a dual app support, cloning of apps. Uh, you get dual app support, uh, ad split screen and support for themes and whole lot of features are included with the ColorOS 6.0 and you can also see the new notification center and uh, quick toggles it has been redesigned. So overall the ColorOS feels nice and you also get uh, app drawer for the first time on ColorOS so everything uh, has been done pretty neatly on the ColorOS on the Realme 3 Pro. Now talking about the performance side. So the phone comes with uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 octa-core processor with a really powerful GPU as well. So the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 is one of the really powerful chipsets in this price segment. We haven't seen Snapdragon 700 series in the sub 20k price segment and this is probably the first time we are seeing at uh, below 15k price segment which uh, is really good. Now the performance is top notch on this device. Uh, uh, we, we have been using this device for quite some time and absolutely no lags whatsoever and it's uh, one of the really good devices uh, in terms of the performance aspect. Now the gaming experience is again really good. Uh, we can easily say that this is the best gaming smartphone below the 15k price segment without any doubt. Uh, extremely smooth experience, lag free experience. And if you are a person who loves to play a lot of games then without doubt the Realme 3 Pro is the device to go in the sub 15k price segment. Now the device comes with a dual sim cards for GLT and Volt T support and there is also an SD card support available. Now talking about the fingerprint scanner, uh, you can see the fingerprint scanner performance is extremely fast uh, and uh, the face unlock is also really good on this device. So you can see that uh, the face unlock is extremely fast. Now talking about the cameras. So the device comes with a dual camera setup. We have a primary 16 megapixel camera f stop 1.7 aperture 
and it's a Sony sensor and we also have a secondary 5 megapixel depth sensing camera and on the front panel we have a 25 megapixel AI selfie camera now we have done a detailed camera review of this device uh, and found the camera to be really good one of the important aspect about the camera is the camera interface which has changed drastically and it feels really nice uh, to use and uh, uh, when we tested the camera we found the camera to be pretty good it's consistent performer the one thing which uh, was not that great on the camera was uh, the saturation levels it was on slightly on the higher side when we reviewed also we mentioned that otherwise the details are good overall great uh, uh, pictures you get uh, even the close-up images the portrait mode everything was pretty much spot on for the 14k price segment even the low light experience was something which was really good and there is a night uh, scape mode which gets you really good low light performance as well and the selfie camera again the 25 megapixel AI selfie camera which we have seen even on the realme u1 works pretty well so that was the camera aspect so overall this device uh, feels really nice in terms of the camera performance but uh, a bit of fine tuning is required especially in the color saturation and also EIS uh, which uh, has a bit of jittery uh, while taking videos. Now finally the battery life. The phone comes with uh, a 4045 mAh capacity battery which should uh, last for more than a day easily. And it also comes with Vogue charging which is a 20 watt uh, fast charger which uh, can charge from 0 to 100 percentage in around 80 minutes which is really good and uh, probably we haven't seen too many fast charging technologies in the sub 15k price segment. So Realme has uh, uh, brought the Vogue charging to the 3 Pro. So that's something again really good and the battery performance is top notch on this device. So summing up, how good is the device uh, for the price segment? So without doubt the Realme 3 Pro is a real pro in almost all aspects be the design, the build quality, the display performance, the color OS has improved drastically, the performance is really great and uh, even the camera performance is pretty good, the battery life is again really good. A uh, few downsides what we felt was uh, the plastic build quality could have been improved, uh, I mean uh, it could have been better if it was a glass finishing or even a metal construction and other downside is that uh, it has micro USB charging slot, there is no USB type C port, again not a major concern and uh, uh, the, the camera performance what we felt was it, uh, the saturation levels was slightly on the higher side but otherwise it's a complete overall package and it's a real pro in the sub 15k price segment. So that was uh, the detailed review of the Realme 3 Pro. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. This is Nurmula signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.